We're at a ancient, this ancient Indian kitchen midden. Woo. Powerful experience being up here on this mound like this with all this refuse and, and shell. And you can see we got pottery right here. Plain type, bone, big shell. Well, that bone there looks to be a, a later, like a possum died here or something. Absolutely. There's some plain tight pot sherds. Looks like uh, some turtle bone down there too. Look at those big shells right there, man. Those were, that was good eating back in the day. But man, if you look around, it just gives you a glimpse of, you know, you could just kind of visualize the mound, the village, the water source. I mean, this is it. Amazing stuff to be out here. Yeah. Got some remnants of some shells here. Got some limestone. Yeah, the... Uh... Got some pottery over there. We've got some faded St. John's check stamps. Yeah, the Indians would... Uh... Like I said, they would eat just about anything. That turtle there probably made a good meal. Anything that walks or crawls and with its back to the sun was considered food. <laughs> so... Well, it's interesting because these Indians, uh, according to the memoirs of, uh, I forgot how to say his name, Le Moyne. Yeah, Jacques Le Moyne. Jacques Le Moyne. He said in there that the Indians, uh, we Europeans could learn from the Indians. We have an insatiable appetite, but they only, um, they only take what they need. Took, took what they needed. They never took more than what they needed. And that's the one thing. They, their lifestyle was very sustainable. You know what I mean? Uh, they never ran out of resources because they were smart about how they went about things, you know? It's fascinating. It's just fascinating. This is history right here. It's just amazing. And it's also ancient history, which is really interesting. It is awesome, man, I'll tell you. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a great payoff because it's not easy to get back here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, good times, man. Yeah, it's probably a smaller village, but the mound, what, how many feet wide would you say that is? In circumference. And you used to be a uh, surveyor. In circumference, I, I'd have to say at least 100 feet. At least. I mean, this is not a small mound at all. I mean, it's not exactly the biggest one I've ever been to, but it's not a small one either by any stretch of the imagination. It's, uh, it's pretty big. Wow. Yeah, it's just a... Yeah, you can see the aquatic snail. It took a long time to pile up this aquatic snail. Wow. Such a, such a powerful and amazing experience to be out here on top of this mound. And see, these oranges like could date back to the time Indians too. I mean, this whole thing is covered in oranges. There's oranges 50 feet away from the mound, so... It's beautiful out here. There's a banded water snake. Beautiful specimen too. Can easily be mistaken for a cottonmouth, and I actually thought it was a cottonmouth when I Jay first pointed it out. No, that's a banded. Of course, he doesn't have the pear-shaped head. Doesn't have the black line behind the eye also too a good distinguisher between banded and moccasins is moccasins always have the bullseye pattern bandits just bands it's a great way to distinguish them from each other remember patterns and scaling will always determine what type of snake it is so interesting stuff uh, people see those all the time they, they think automatically like you did moccasin but if just like you said look at the shape of the head the scaling, the patterns, you can always tell a banded from a moccasin. Moccasin's got that bullseye pattern. You'll see a thing and then a, a dot right in the middle. Yeah. All the way through it. Yep. So. And it, the funny thing is I used to catch these snakes right here. Yeah. Keep Band them as pets, but they don't make a very good pet. Bandits are cool, man. I, they're one of the most beautiful snakes, uh, uh, you know, in my opinion. I, this, think the, I think the brown water snake's prettier. Yeah, this guy right here is fat. He yeah, is, he, he's well fed. He's healthy. He's well fed. And he's being really good towards us. He's not moving. I think he knows we're not going to mess with him. 
So what we'll do is we'll get some really good pictures of them. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there he goes. Taking off. He's had enough. Well, he gave us a good picture show. I'll tell you, he was a beautiful snake. And there he goes. He's on his way. He's on his way to find a rat. Happy hunting, bud. A little spring here. See the small boil? Look at the size of that cypress tree. <laughs> this tree is thousands of years old. It's one of the biggest trees I've ever seen in my life, man. It's definitely a monster. They should name this one a behemoth. 